arson, fraud and industrial sabotage. Stay tuned for Danny Turner's extended radio expose and the rise of insurance scams sweeping the nation. Hello there, it's your man Danny Turner with the Say What Now podcast. I want to get to a story very quickly, in fact very shortly, about something I saw in far north Queensland. Just a normal bloke, just like you or me working his 9 to 5 job, wife, the family, that sort of thing, got laid off. Now of course that's going to create some stress, but what he did next... So buyer interest in this kind of property has been minimal. It's a dying industry and look, if you guys wanted to sell now, you'd be lucky to get 700,000. <laughs> Whereas 10 years ago, your insurance appraisal valued this place at 3 million. 3 million? <clears throat> Is that still in effect? For now, the bank's looking at doing a reappraisal within the next month. Look guys, my advice, rethink how much capital you're after. I'd really be thinking if now's the right time to sell. I'll leave this with you guys. Is it? Not yet. We don't have a choice, Luke. Don't rush it. Right, I'll figure something out. We don't have time. Then make more time. Did you not hear what she said? We need... <sighs> not the news I wanted to hear. Have you got any more of that whiskey left? You know, I really am surprised to see you two, but uh, that's a good thing. I just wish it was, uh, under better circumstances. Of course, man. We're family. I have really fucked things up, you know. No, you, you know, in a year's time, this place is going to be worth fat stacks. Yeah, of that I can drink to. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Now, excuse me for a moment. <laughs> I'm going to drain the old snake. What are you doing? Um, just looking. For what? This. <laughs> I don't get it. Hey, Dad built this place in the 70s, right? The wiring is shot to shit. One bad plug, and this whole place is gonna Miss, go down. No. <laughs> what are the options? We sell, we get 700k. We leave it, we get nothing. Little accident, three million dollars. What option are you picking? The one that doesn't leave my brother homeless. And what about us? We got ourselves into this, we can get ourselves out of it. it he's my brother too. And Start fucking acting like it. Hey, you, you wanna get some air? I feel like shit. That's a great idea, Joe. Let's get you out of here. Good to see both of you, really. You are much better company than the boys in blue, let me tell you. Hey? Boys in blue? What do you mean, Joe? Joe? Joe. Shit. Joe. Fuck. Joe, what are you talking about? Joe, what do you mean? Boys in blue? Oh, there's nothing, about? man. They were around the other day and they were wanting to look at books and talk to peeps. <laughs> Some shit about gangsters or something, you know? Are you wearing my pants? Did you fucking hear that? Yes, I heard it. We need it tonight or the cops are all over us. You're not gonna find anything out. What do you mean? He's gonna tell them everything. He can't tell them anything. He doesn't know anything. The cops aren't stupid. We wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't been in this bed. These oh, fucking fuck animals. Me. What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to use your fucking head. Fine. Fine. Your name's on the books. When they start digging deeper, oh, what the fuck are you gonna do then? 
What are we gonna fucking do? Leave him here? I don't give a shit. I'm sorting this out tonight. Vince! Vince! Sorry, man. Who's that? Morning. Look, oh my god. Have you both heard? Yeah. Yeah, I heard. It's the office, right? Terrible. Oh, god, what was he even doing there that late? Who? Joe. What? 